Hi everyone, this is E, the Empty Nester. Today is part three of my series of making your own grow bags. I'm still working with the same landscaping fabric I started out with last year. And the one gallon grow bags, I've got one still outside over winter and it still looks like brand new. So today I'm going to show you um, how to make the window box grow bag. I, with this one, I got out a little bit of um, material to show you that you can just put um, like a ribbon around it or material around it and um, put it on this side and then take it across on each side. And that will keep this pretty much um, into a window box type of shape. Otherwise, if you don't want that, you know, I kind of like the idea that you can just mash the soil down a little bit and increase the soil surface and have a little bit extra growing room. This will be perfect for starting my true potato seeds in. And um, I also, if I'll put the link in the bottom of how to make the one gallon grow bags and then the half gallon and the five gallon grow bags are on my last video. I'll put a link to that in the bottom also. And a link to um, tell you how deep your plants grow. You know, like a lettuce is um, shallow and you can actually plant that in a one gallon or a half gallon bag. Lettuce would be good in here too. I would put maybe um, to keep on big and bunching I would put maybe three heads in here and if you want to crowd it you could do six heads in here but on to the show and thank you for watching I'm using what's left of this three foot roll of landscaping fabric that I started making the grow bags with last year I only paid like $5.99 for this roll and you can probably get it still for around ten dollars and it's three foot by fifty foot. The type of thread that I'm using is a cotton polyester blend. This one's about eight inches wide, six and a half tall, fifteen long. All you have to do is um take your material and put it on here and rather than measure and then go down an inch or so on the side bring it up an inch or so on the side here and then cut straight across and then decide whether or not you want to use one two out of this and then build up the um, side over here or just go ahead and make a 36 inch container and um, bring up the sides over here. But let me go ahead and do this. Where's my scissors? There they are. Measure it down and we'll take the cut right here. do is make two of these and just go ahead and trim this in half so the container will be about the same size as this it gives you the extra little bit to sew the edge on need our two sections go ahead and measure this out about that long
quarters. And that's going to be taller than I need, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut it like that. Keep everything even. Okay, the sides here of the bag measure about six and a half inches by five and a half inches. And then you'll cut the um, material like I showed you and it measures about 21 inches by inches. What I found best to do is fold this in half and make sure it's the long way and not the short way. And fold this section in half. you've got the direct center here. Take your thread. Go ahead and put a stitch in it. I'm going to just stitch up the side here. Coming over to the corner, bring the corner up. This would be faster and easier on a sewing machine, but not everyone has a sewing machine. But everyone can learn to sew with a needle and thread. It doesn't cost that much. Okay. I'm just going to bring it through and then bring this around. It's kind of like putting a knot in it. Put three knots in it. For now. Put it, wrap this around and then roll it off. A second. Wrap it around. Roll it off. Got a knot in the end. Gonna go back here to the center. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. You're going to start in the center here. And so that way, go to the corner, sew into the corner, and then come to the end. And then after you do that, you go back to the center on the back again, go across, 
sew into the corner, go up the corner and to the edge again. When you're done with that, then you want to take the each side and flip it over again like this. Sew it down this side, go to this side, flip it down, sew that side, and then go to the bottom, flip it backwards or forwards. This one I got backwards. This one I'll go ahead and show you. I'm flipping the bottom of it forward. And then you start in the corner and just put your needle in, go up and down. Pull the thread through. And then tie your knot off over here at the end. I usually put about three knots in, that way if one of them breaks, there's a couple extras to hold it in place. And then snip it off, and you've got a girl bag. And I didn't sew a hem at the top, but if you got some trim at the store, you know, like I was showing you earlier in the video, and add a different kind of material to this to make it a little more sturdy that would work and add a little flair to the bag a little bit of cuteness but thank you all for watching um, there's links in the subject area and you can find more information on do the different sizes of grow bags and in the future there'll be maybe different even more sizes thanks for watching